So you remember the old saying, don't fix what ain't broken? Well, it's not working here. Because, well, hell yeah, you need to fix it. Because you're gonna fail. Again and again and again. So basically, this game, Cloud Reach, uh, is a simple game where you need to stack block on top of each other and try to reach uh, the highest height that you can. So yeah, seems simple. Well, it ain't, and you need to well try your way to get along with some random blocks that drop, and try to create good foundations and try to reach the highest height. Uh, the cool thing about it is it's made very well. First of all. Uh, you can um, use the elevator handle there to just go up, you know, so you can actually put things above the already placed blocks. And if you can grab them from the side and put them on this um, rectangular structure. Uh, even more, you can actually exactly see the height while you're actually placing things. Uh, the cubes are really made with kind of a shiny material, which look really nice. I like it. And look at the environment. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful. Now if you, yeah, oh, by the way, I wanted to mention, this is a problem. Sometimes uh, when I press to get new um, new blocks, sometimes it just, if I press maybe the second, I don't know, it just fall down. Anyway, it happens from time to time. Maybe I just press twice. And again, if one of the blocks fall down, it's uh, game over and you need to start from the beginning. And the cool thing is that again, each block is gonna be different. It's not gonna be the same thing, uh, so you need to adapt. And basically, you need to decide where you're going with something slim and try to get, you know, highs as you can with very little amount of blocks. So we're just going to create very good foundations and, again, really be invested in it and trying to create a really big, beautiful tower. It all goes well with beautiful music, fantastic looking visuals, but if you have kind of a, you know, scare of heights, or as um, Alex Honnold mentioned it, uh, you're afraid of uh, just dying, falling and dying. So, yeah, that's actually, I'm scared of that. Uh, yeah, I remember, for example, working on the bridge in Porto, in Portugal, and, and I was very scared, uh, actually, just looking down. It was actually a beautiful view, but I was scared. So, basically, I'm scared of these games. But, no worries, I can handle it, and I tried my best. So, it's not really the most comfortable way for me to experience things in VR because of the height, but because of the fear of heights. Nonetheless, I really enjoy it. That being said, I would, it would be nice having the option to uh, rotate things around so you can actually um, uh, just, you know, just move to the other side, not physically, but just rotate things around yourself. So again, sometimes again, depends on how you build things. You want to put things a bit deeper and not move yourself physically. So let me just be easier. So again, this is like, Simple and great. Uh, you really don't need a lot to make really a great game. Just make something simple that is challenging and fun like that game and things will just work and it works. The physics are great. You really feel you have control by the way with the two hands. So I can really move, you know, hold something with my left hand and just position something with the other or vice versa. So I really feel that I have good degree of control. I mean, I tried other game, VR game, the past are kind of similar, but it was a terrible experience. Here I really have good feeling that I'm actually controlling things so you can really fine-tune the movement and the placement of the blocks and it actually works well. Now on the dying side, well the thing is that well it can be good as, as it is fine because again this is just simple and it's all about really trying to uh, get along with those blocks and trying to stabilize them but what if there was more arcadey features some really unique blocks that you're gonna randomly get and you say oh my god this is exactly what they needed it can really help out after all it's uh, there's no global leaderboard here uh, so uh, by the way this can be nice so maybe two modes one you know the regular one and the other one arcade and basically you're gonna get different type of blocks that can be in a kind of a, like power ups uh, that can really help you get higher and make things just more interesting or maybe you're gonna get something that won't be that easy for you and need to kind of uh, find a way to, you know, uh, solve it without actually failing because it's gonna be maybe a heavy block or something. I don't know, something that can be challenging and fun in a random way. Uh, so maybe an arcade mode and a casual mode uh, can be good, but just my take. So yeah, so you can see that I really love it and I recommend trying it and it's free via SideQuest. So what are you waiting for? Go and try to beat my tallest tower. Actually, it wasn't that tall. Nonetheless, you can see it here. That's my best. Rip. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.